Joe Concha does watch CNN for a living. He writes about media for The Hill, and he joins us right now. So, Joe, this was a big story, but not over there? It wasn't covered as much, nearly. Of course not. And this was embarrassing for CNN. Granted, she's only on there once a year, but still, that is an employee that they were paying uh, to do the New Year's Eve special with Anderson Cooper. But give Kathy Griffin, I'm going to give her some credit here, Tucker, because she is the first person in years to bring the left and the right together in denouncing one issue. When you could have Keith Oberman, Chelsea Clinton, Mitt Romney, and Donald Trump all saying that photo's bad, you know, they we're really on to something here. Well, that's right. But, but CNN wasn't part of that. They were sort of standing alone here, and that's because it wasn't news or no one was talking about it, or were there other reasons why they didn't want to get well, into no, it? No, no, no. Look, it, it was the top trending story all day yesterday. Oh. I thought that they would come out after you saw this photo and immediately say she's not part of our New Year's Eve coverage anymore. And it, it took them about a full day, but they eventually did get to taking her off that coverage. And look, we're at a point now where Kathy Griffin has an endorsement with Squatty Potty, a great American company. I have three of them, Tucker. Very catchy slogan, stools for better stools. And they, yesterday, about five minutes after that photo came out, said, we are denouncing Kathy Griffin. We're ending our relationship. It took CNN about another day before they were able to do the same. So that's where we're at now, where Squatty so, Potty is being more decisive than a cable news network that's been in existence for 40 years. <laughs> right. So, like, the toilet company has higher standards than the news channel. Is that what you're saying? But, well, I don't want to put words in your mouth now. No, no. Let's move on. <laughs> so, so what exactly does this mean? And as a factual matter, was she employed by the channel? Was she, uh, you know, coming in every year? Was, were they paying her for that? And how long had she been doing the New Year's thing? Oh, I would think she was absolutely compensated. She's been doing the New Year's Eve thing since 2007 with anchor Anderson Cooper from Times Square. It's a very highly rated special that they do every year, mainly because they got two things out of it. They got ratings because she did a provocative thing, probably, or said a provocative thing. And they got virality because the clips kept moving on and on. So that's probably what delayed CNN's decision here. But look, social media is the great equal. Equalizer now in 2017, Tucker. CNN, I think, thought at first probably maybe this will blow over by December when they announce she's coming back. But if that happened, you would have boycotts, which I know you don't like, of advertisers. Yeah. You would have a PR nightmare and you would have people screaming about this because that is an image. Take Trump and Griffin out of it. That is an image of an American citizen holding up a beheaded head of a sitting president, mimicking our greatest enemy, you could argue, in ISIS. And that's something that's etched in people's memories that they would not forget. This is her legacy now, unfortunately. Yeah. I mean, she was horrible before, just pandering to the elites and their, their stupid, closed-minded attitudes. So I turned in, uh, into that channel yesterday mm -hmm. to see, you know, are they covering this? And what are they covering? Because it's kind of interesting to see their alternative uh, reality. And this is what I saw. Watch. Being president is not agreeing with the president. He complained that his first trip overseas was going to be too long, that he wasn't looking forward to it, and he returned to the White House angry. He's gained weight, uh, according to these sources. He doesn't trust uh, people around him. He's withdrawing. Not a good picture. It's the one being painted by those sources. <laughs> I actually like the anchor over there who just said that, but that line, I really had to put it in my refrigerator. He's gained weight, according to sources. According to sources. You know what the number one complaint of the New York Times readers are? This is according to their public editors year after year. The overuse of unnamed sources. If I'm a reader just sitting at home, I'm wondering, okay, who has the motivation and the agenda to go on the record with CNN, who Trump, he hasn't appeared on that network since August of 2016. What friend of Trump is running to CNN to talk about how much of a bad mood he's in and how, how, uh, how much weight he's gained? And what is the credibility of this source in the first place. Motive, agenda, credibility. And here's the problem, Tucker. After that story comes out, then everybody else in media picks up the story as gospel because they believe the source who we don't know who it is and what their agenda is. And that's the whole problem with all these bombshells that we've seen for the first 120 days of this presidency. Well, unless it's his personal physician, I, I think you'd have to say nobody knows what he weighs. I mean, like, what is that? It's insane. Joe, thank you for thank joining you. us and for watching all that stuff for us. <laughs>